Jeff Rowe from Two Hacks Garage. Well, I'm at Jimmy's. As you've seen, we've been working on Project Jumping Jack Flash, that soon to be awesome nitro breathing front engine dragster of mine. That video, well, has nothing to do with that. It's not even about anything doing with any building engines or anything else. I just wanted to share some creativity and ingenuity of Jimmy's. We all know when you're building an engine, well, you gotta put pistons on the connecting rods, put rings on them, all that type of fun stuff. There's a whole bunch of different ways to do that. We're gonna talk about that here in a second. We know when you put these in, you have the spiral locks, the snap rings, the man, that can be a pain in the butt, all that type of stuff. Not always the fun, they go flying, they go all over the place. We do a lot of engine building, and we've always said, you know what we need? We need a connecting rod vise. We've always done it the old school way with vise, a rag, two blocks of wood, all that type of stuff. It's not always the most ingenious way to do it. It's not always the safest way to do it. You know what, guys? We've done it. We've done it safely, and it works. After building this last engine we did, putting stuff together, we finally said, you know what? We need a connecting rod vise. Started looking online. Well, they are kind of expensive, so we try to do stuff on a budget. So Jimmy said, I'm going to build my own. He saw a picture, and he built it. With that, guys, let me show you what Jimmy's creativity and years of experience as a machinist built. Be right back. All right, guys. So in the past, a lot of times what you do, you know, to assemble one of these, either put spiral locks in, put your rings on, whatever you needed to do, a rag, two pieces of wood, you'd put this in there and clamp it. As you can see, that's not always the best way to do it. So like I said, Jimmy and I decided to do a connecting rod vise. Like I said, he literally looked at a picture of it, saw what he wanted to do, and this is what we built right here. This was all scrap pieces laying around. Like I said, Jimmy's a machinist. He's got all kinds of stuff laying around. Yeah, this was just cut off different pieces of material he had, and this is what he built. So this is actually pretty simple. You got your rod right here that moves this clamp. It's got springs, and this is for the vise. Let me get this set up and show you how it works. Literally, you just put it in the vise like that, clamp down, move my camera back a little bit. So as you can see like that, that bottom piece that was in there, that clamps in the vise, get it nice and secure. Now this is aluminum. A lot of rods that we do use are steel, so the aluminum softer, helps it not mar. This is an aluminum race rod just for representation. You still gotta be careful. So it's pretty simple, guys. I'm not gonna do anything. This is just for, you know, can I show you how it works? This goes up and down like a vice would, and it's got springs that help push it apart. So what you would do, and you would slide this in here this way. That's simple. You go down, and you clamp it down. So if you're gonna put in your spiral locks or your snap rings, this makes it secure, a whole lot easier to do. It's not gonna mar, and it's nice and firm. You can also move it back like this so your rods itself or the piston doesn't rock back and forth it's held back in place so it's multiple position so you can see here it's nice and firm you can go in there and do that obviously with the device you can turn it and all of that so let's say you wanted to do stuff on the other end well it's quite simple go back this way with it look at that guys now you can get to the back of this do whatever you need to do that's pretty ingenious. This is Jimmy's creativity. This is his ingenuity. If you don't want to buy something and you have the means, build it. Jimmy has been teaching me the side of machining off camera, and I hope to build more stuff like this. There's a couple other products that he's built, and I'll show you at another time. But yeah, this is actually pretty cool. This is going to come in real handy. Thumbs up to Jimmy's engineering, his creativity, and his ingenuity. All right, so that's just a quick video. Wanted to show you some stuff that Jimmy does off camera a lot of times. Um, you know what, guys? A lot of cases, if you can't buy it or don't want to buy it and you have the means, like I said, build it. In this case, this is something we really wanted at the time. We didn't decide it was affordable. So in our spare time, more or less Jimmy's, I just watched because I'm still learning all of this. Like I said, he just took scraps of stuff that he had from other cutoffs, rods, aluminum, set screws, you name it, all this. He machined it. He's got a lathe. He's got a mill. He's got everything you would ever need to do to be able to do this. Um, I think it's quality piece. It's definitely going to come in handy down the road. It's very heavy duty built. Best part about it is it's American made by a guy that's been doing it for a long time. Everybody can learn some stuff from guys like him. I'm learning. I still have a whole lot to learn, but when he teaches me stuff like this, I take it to heart. 
So maybe one day I have the skills to build stuff like this too. With that, guys, we'll see you in the next episode. Later.